A dual purpose device? Yes, please. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. I've got a very unique battery pack today, but the funny part is the battery pack's not even really the point of this video. I just think this thing is really, really slick for uh, what it is. So the battery pack, uh, first of all, is a 200, yeah, 222 watt hour battery pack. Taking a closer look at the battery, we've got the LED readout right here, giving us the battery percentage up top. And then on the bottom, it tells us uh, how much we're either putting into or taking out of the battery at any given time. On the front of it, we've got several different helpful connection points here. The first one is the power port right here, or cigarette lighter port, as uh, some people will call it. That's 130 watt max out but it's sufficient to power a QRP radio uh, up to about maybe probably, what is that? I hate to math on camera, eight or nine amps or so. You also have USB-A output and USB-C in and out. So we can recharge this uh, particular battery pack through this port, or you can use this to charge other devices. Now, this has several different output levels to it. I think everything from 5 volts to 20 volts, and even a handy dandy little light uh, that will send out an emergency beacon for you if that's something you're interested in. One of the things that I wanted to test, let's see if I can get all of this to come in here on camera, maybe, is I've got these uh, USB-C adapters that I can then put different uh, connectors on to charge various radios. So I've got my VX6 here. Let's go ahead and, if I can get that cover to open up, see if this won't charge that radio. And look at there, it does say it's charging. So just one use of this battery pack. But what's even cooler is we can use this to power a refrigerator. The Bouge RV CRX2 is one of the refrigerators that we used during a three-week road trip in February of this year. This comes in really, really handy because we've kind of got a smaller fridge here in the RV, so this allowed us to expand that storage space without any trouble whatsoever. For the vast majority of the time, this thing just sat in the truck, either hooked up to the truck's battery or I could run it on the external battery that I just showed you guys, or I could run it on a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This thing has a compartment right here that opens up. It's got one battery in the back, and then we can go ahead and install this additional battery right here in the front. Lock both of those in and you're good to go. I have found that I can get about four hours off of one of those batteries if the temps are hovering around 70 degrees. Obviously, you're not going to get that much runtime if it's much hotter outside. And with this thing being black, it's going to collect a little bit more heat, so keep it in the shade for longer runtimes out of those batteries. Now, in addition to being battery powered like that, we can also utilize the app to see exactly what's going on with the fridge. You can turn the refrigerator on and off, see what the current temperature settings are, and adjust those temperatures. Now, the entire thing can be a refrigerator and a freezer, or you can pull the divider out and just make it a freezer or a refrigerator, depending on how you need to use it. Now, the capacity on this is 31 quarts. A nice feature on this one that I actually don't have on my larger uh, refrigerator like this, this one comes equipped with wheels on the end, and on the other side, they do include a handle that will allow you to pick this thing up and roll it around. When I get my larger one loaded up, it definitely takes two people to move that thing around. This one is much easier to move around by myself because of those wheels and that handle. So whether you're headed out in the RV or just a day long road trip, this is an excellent addition to your kit. It also works really well if you're going out to do a parks on the air activation, or maybe it's field day. This will keep everything cold for the duration of field day. 